This is an ec- an excerpt from one of the latest Dennis Prager shows. His fireside chats. Uh, and it is a clip from the PragerU channel titled, Was Hitler Far Right or Far Left? And uh, I haven't watched this, but boy howdy, I am really excited to hear Dennis Prager attempt to answer this question. Perspective on whether you think Hitler was far right or was actually a far left ideologue. Okay, thank you for your time. I enjoy listening to Fireside Chat every week. All the best. Thank you. Hitler uh, was uh, was left wing in that <laughs> he believed uh, in socialism. Remember, Nazism is national socialism. Oh, you're doing Very few it. People know that. Come on, dude. You need a riding crop to beat the chuds with. Oh uh, yeah, I need a riding crop to beat the chuds. Uh huh. As if uh, as if a bunch of you wouldn't be down for that. Um, dude, th- this is this is like one of the weirdest persistent lies, right? This is one of the weirdest persistent lies in like Republican circles. Of like, well, uh, it's national socialism, so it must be socialist. And, and Republicans and conservatives will repeat this ad nauseum as if it's a novel point. But like, they seem to very much forget that the national socialism branding of the Nazi party was designed specifically to seem like a socialist platform, a uh, platform that would appeal to the working people of Germany, because at the time, Germany was on the cusp of having a a communist or a left-wing revolution, right? And so in order to co-opt some of that support, they gave themselves a, a name to appeal to that group, specifically to appeal to a group of that might not have a bunch of high information voters who might confuse it with an actual socialist movement. They were explicitly an anti-communist organization. They were explicitly an anti-socialist organization. There, there's, not, there's not a point at which like the, the Nazis were like super, super aligned with left-wing ideals. I, I believe uh, there was like a faction of Nazis uh, from the uh, Strasserite wing of the uh, the party, who at least had some like leanings towards like uh, populism, like a Nazism rooted in populism, but they got purged from the party. They got they got they got massacred. Like <sighs> yeah, let's see. Um just uh just as an FYI here. All right. Uh Otto Strasser was a member of the Free Corps. Uh, and he joined the Social Democratic Party of Germany and fought against the cap push. Um, Strasser joined the Nazi Party in 1925, where he kept promoting the importance of socialism and national socialism. Considered more of a radical than his brother, Strasser was expelled by the Nazi Party in 1930 and set up the Black Front, his own dissident group, which called specifically for a German nationalist form of socialist revolution. Strasser fled Germany in 1933 to live in Czechoslovakia and then Canada before the returning to West Germany and later in life. Yeah. Like, literally, what we have here are actual members of the Nazi party who joined because they were bamboozled by its branding and then found out, oh, wait, they're, they're actually not socialist at all and, like, got ousted from the party for being too socialist. Like, still Nazis, but too socialist. <laughs> Uh, 
God. That especially if you go to college where you don't learn much. But that well, if you, I, I can tell you for a fact, if you go to college, you will learn more about World War II if you take a course on World War II, or uh, you know the uh, the 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 fall of Germany to fascism. You will learn more than what Dennis Prager just told you, which is lies. That is what Nazism stands for: National Socialism. In that sense, it was left wing, but it was not left wing in another sense. The left divided the world by class. That's the classic Marxist division of the world, yep. class, the proletariat and the, uh, and the oppressor, if you will. Whereas Hitler divided the world by race. Race is not a left-wing or a right-wing value. It has become... I I think if we look at the uh I think if we look at the alignment of people who really care about race and like the establishment of ethno states there might be a core a very very strong correlation between uh people with very strong feelings on race and far right politics you know I'm I'm just uh, I'm just spitballing here I I don't think I don't think the KKK is turning out to vote for the far left progressive candidates. Just, uh, I don't, I don't, I don't think they're doing that. Um, actually. From a left wing value in, in the last 25 years, uh, in the West, all of a sudden race matters incredibly. The, the, the left has actually in some ways abandoned classic Marxist division by class and now made it by race. He looks so pleased with himself. He looks so pleased with himself. Again, the left hasn't abandoned class issues. The left... OMG, you think Dennis is doing this cause he wants the people to be confused enough to think his channel is an actual university? Uh, funny that you mentioned that. Some of the videos in our uh, PragerU rotation are actually about how uh, PragerU is completely molding right now because NBC put out a piece about how um, they've been duping their way into different state curriculums um, under the understanding that... Uh, different uh, state educational departments have that PragerU is a an, like an actual uh, educational institution. They have they literally have an hour long show where uh, Dennis and like the CEO of uh, PragerU like sit down and talk about it and mauled about it, and then they have two independent interviews that they posted on their YouTube channel. We might go over all of that. I I don't know how how interesting it will be or how interested you all would be in that. But I do, I do know that, like, they are currently very upset at not being an actual university. Um, that, this being said, the left isn't obsessed with race. The people who are obsessed with attacking, like, diversity, equity, and inclusion programs, programs that are specifically put in place to boost sales and boost productivity in the workplace because if you have a workforce that's so racist, black people don't want to work for you, like you're going to have uh, problems when it comes to hiring folks and being like fully staffed and being fully efficient. If you are, uh, so if your internal culture of your company is so like racist and exclusionary that um, like it gets out into the general public, you are going to suffer uh, like from a lot of losses in sales. Like this, what, what he's describing as the left's obsession with race is just capitalism wanting to market to a larger base of people so they can make more money. The left isn't obsessed with race. The left is obsessed with trying to arrive at a place of equity for all people who have been historically marginalized and oppressed. You know? Whereas uh, if, when you look at 
what 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 do conservatives think about race? You you walk into like a land of like, oh yeah, we actually need ethno states. You know, we need we need to break out uh greater the greater Utah movement and uh, create a, a new state for whites only. You know, like you get you get people who are straight up like white nationalists who are trying to like make you know white places for whites only. It's crazy. Uh, but uh, race was neither left nor right until the, the this moment. It is not a right wing value. Race was a left or a right thing. Uh, was was neither left nor right until this moment in time. Is such a wild and insane thing to say in America. We literally fought a war about it 150 years ago. The deadliest war in American history was specifically over race. And you had the left-leaning union versus the conservative uh, slave states who wanted to conserve slavery. Like, the, the, the political divide on race goes all the way back. God damn, dude. I mean, I, I live among people on the right. None, none, none of them, not one, not, a, not one person I know is a racist. Yeah, I'm, I'm shocked that like your friends don't personally turn to you and stare into your eyes and go, Dennis, I am a racist. Like that that is what it would take for like Dennis to actually recognize if one of his friends was saying racist things. They find the idea preposterous. So uh, it, it's not right to say that he was right wing and it's not right to say he was only left wing. He was partially left wing. And by the way, he just just real quick. Th this is a separate story that I want to talk about in more de detail, but like. I don't know one. I don't know one uh, person on the left. I, I or sorry, I don't know one person on the right who uh, it would be considered a racist. And meanwhile, uh, CBS put out this polling the other day. Um, Trump's statement: Immigrants illegally entering uh, the United States are poisoning the blood of the country. Uh, among Republican primary voters, 81% of the voting base of the Republican Party agree with that. Shai Halud, thank you for the $50 dono. Hot damn. Let's go. Based Shai Halud. I also need to add two more for the Catalina Gearboxes donos. Thank you. We got another PragerU video coming right up. We haven't even gotten through the first one. Let's go. Shai Halud, thank you for supporting Riverboat Jack Enterprises. <laughs> hey, Nuris guy. But again, like, Donald Trump got on stage in front of, like, his voter base and literally quoted Hitler to them about their blood being poisoned by immigrants. And 81% of Republican primary voters, the base of the Republican Party, agreed with it. Agreed with a Nazi talking point, Dennis. And you're going you're gonna to sit there? You're going to tell me, like, oh, you don't know anybody who's racist, Dennis. I don't, I'm Dennis Prager. I don't know anybody who's racist. But maybe you'd know people who support Trump. Like, you know, I don't know, yourself who uh, also hear the same things that Trump says and agree with him. Like, come on, dude. Hated capitalism. Hated it. I just read a, a new biography. Of I'm Hitler. sorry. I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It's not right to say he was only left-wing. He was partially left-wing. And by the way, he hated capitalism. Hated it. I just read a, a new biography of Hitler and that was a major part of the biography, how much the man hated Captain. I, I, I recently read a, bio, a biography uh, of Hitler. Um, was that biography Mein Kampf? Was it an, was it an autobiography? If, 
if you don't mind my ex asking. Um, and I ask that because, like, Hitler cared about one thing, maintaining power, which is what fascists do. You know, if 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 a fascist can get into power by promising corporations uh, more and expanded powers and greater profits, they will. And like that is that is where the fusion between corporation and state takes place. This is the uh, where where corporations and the state kind of become each other. This is the this is one of the ways like a fascist gets into power. It's by banking on the support from these corporations that reckon that they're going to make more money under a fascist versus a socialist. You know, th this is this is a recurring theme in fascism. There are different types of racism. Interpersonal is what he's talking about, but there are also in internalized, institutionalized, and structural, which is your point. Exactly, Migs. You got it. But also, like, also, I would expand that by even saying, even when we're talking about interpersonal racism, people who are interpersonally racist don't, like, look at their friends and go, huh, I'm racist. Like, that's 0.1% that's of racists, you know? People who are going to say racist shit are, gonna, like, are not going to say it, like, outright to you. You know, generally speaking, they're, they're going to make snide comments that belittle, like, people of other races. But they're not, ne they're not necessarily going to be like Nick Fuentes goose-stepping Nazi over here being like, yep, I'm racist and proud of it. You know? <sighs> yeah. Like, um, this is going to be a weird example, right? But, uh, I was watching, I was watching a review of one of the seasons of Love is Blind because I, sometimes I like analysis of trash TV. Um, and like in one, in one of the analyses, uh, I think it was of like season four of Love is Blind. Um, this, uh, person going over it uh was essentially talking about this back and forth that one of the uh people who participated in the season had with their friends basically talking about their fiance and like using coded language to call him gay you know among among her friends and like that person didn't think that she was homophobic but she's like straight up like calling him like a fairy in like text messages with her friends like you know like that's that they don't consider themselves racist, but they will engage in racism, you know, is kind of the point I'm getting at, if that makes sense. Capitalism. That's also not taught in college. Oh, you 